Welcome back again, my friends. I'm glad you guys made it here to come hang out for another story time. Okay, today I'm kind of planning on doing a bit of reading from Healing Promises, written by Joseph Prince. I'm not sure how far we'll make it today, but um, as I've been checking out, this seems to be a very interesting read. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. And, um, yeah, if you're not a member, please consider becoming one. Join the hometown team. Welcome back, homies. I'm glad you guys decided to uh, come and spend some more time with me. I'm looking forward to it. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you today and just ask you to anoint our minds, our hearts, and our spirits. For what we are about to read, we pray, Lord, that your healing touch will come down upon our spirits. Uplift us, Lord, and allow us to live and thrive for you. Allow your will to be done in our lives, Lord, and we pray this in the high and holy name of Jesus. I also ask you, Lord, to put a hedge of protection over all my friends and family, all my brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews, and for all of my subs out here and all of my viewers, I pray, Lord, that you'll just reach down and touch all of their lives, Lord. Just allow your healing and loving mercy to pour out upon all of them, Lord. Just allow your will to be done in our lives allow us to live to magnify for you and your will allow us to bring you the glory lord in jesus's high and holy name we pray amen and amen okay my friends let's get on with it Oh, shoot, sorry, I, I didn't realize you guys are going to show up here, um, perfect, so it's time to do some more reading, now that you guys are here, um, healing promises, we'll continue on, okay, remember, hit that like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to share, if you know anybody else you think this might reach out to and touch the right way, so do remember now, we first read the scripture, followed by the devotion. Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said. Be healed. And instantly the leprosy was healed. Matthew chapter 8 verses 2 and 3. I will give you back your health and heal your wounds says the Lord. Jeremiah 30, verse 17. Once there was a leper who came to Jesus saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. This man didn't have a problem believing that Jesus had the ability and power to heal him. He just wasn't sure if Jesus was willing to do it for him. I want you to look at Jesus' response to the leper and see God's heart for you where healing is concerned. Jesus answered the leper by touching him and saying, I am willing, be healed. 
What did Jesus say? I am willing. Did he just say it and do nothing? No. He stretched forth his hand to the leper and restored the afflicted man to his wholeness. Today, God wants you to know that he is both able and willing to heal you. Start to realize and believe that he wants you healed more than you want to be healed. I am able. I am also willing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do not fear, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke chapter 12 verse 13, 32. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father in heaven Give good things to those who ask him. Matthew chapter 7 verse 11 God wants you to know that he is not the kind of father who wants you sick and defeated. Instead, he is the kind of father who enjoys providing for your needs. He is a good father who will not withhold healing and healthy body from you. As your loving father, God's joy is to see you blessed with the best. If you, in spite of of your faults know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in Heaven give good things to you when you ask Him? My prayer today is that you will know just how much your Father loves you and be bold to ask Him for whatever you need. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He said, he sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. Psalms, 107 verses 19 and 20. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood and forgiveness of sins. Colossians Chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. Jesus willingly came down from heaven to redeem you from a life of sickness, poverty, and death to a life of freedom, health, and blessings. He willingly suffered for you at the cross so that you may walk in fullness of redemptions, blessings, and divine health, restoration, peace, and provision. Simply look to Jesus and His finished work today and see how much God loves you. You will see how much more 
God wants to bless you and wants to be blessed. And how much more he wants to heal you and wants you to be well. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love that God has in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 and 39 Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. 3 John Chapter 1, verse 2. The Bible tells us that God's love is so immeasurable, powerful, and all encompassing that nothing can ever separate us from it. Because God loves you so much, His desire above all things is always for you his beloved child, to prosper in all that you do and be in health, even as your soul prospers. If an earthly father would want his child to be happy and healthy, how much more God, your heavenly father, he wants you well and he is willing to use his power to make you well. Amen, my brothers and sisters. I'm glad you guys stopped in for another reading. I truly love when you guys come to spend time with me here. I ask that you'd hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave a comment. If you have any prayers you're needing, Write them down in the comment. I'll be sure to get back to each and every one of you. I thank you guys. Let's just close up with a prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We just come to you now and ask you for the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, Shoe our feet with the good news of the gospel of peace. Allow us the double-edged sword of the Spirit and the shield of faith to put out all those fiery whales of the devil that he may shoot at us. And now doing all that we can to be guarded with your protective armor, we shall stand, for we know the battle belongs to the Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to just allow your healing spirit to rain down upon all of the viewers here witnessing this message that your prosperity will just pour down upon them and fill their hearts, their minds, their spirits, their souls and their bodies, their families, their houses and all that they do. We ask you Lord that your healing spirit will just anoint all of your children that are struggling now, and especially with the mental health issues or addiction or pain, just that all those unclean spirits will be cast out to the outer darkness where they can run no more of a muck on your children, Lord. We just thank you for this day. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. And I just pray you'll keep enlarging our borders. Allow us to get closer and closer with you, Lord, for you are our destiny. We long to live for you and worship you and please you. So we ask you, Lord, for your will to be done in our lives, not ours. In Jesus' high and holy name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. And welcome back, homies. I'll see you guys on the next reading. And until then, I love you all very much. Peace. See ya.